So I have one that will dig down into a nice hole. Um, I call that one um, mine down. And all he does, let me sink down here. Ah, just fall. There we go. All he does is make a staircase into the ground. I'm not, I'm not hitting it. There we go. Um, going further and further down into the ground. And he does that. Um, so it's not perfect for mining everything, but it's good for getting to the level that you want to mine at. The other is called mine zigzag. And what he'll do is he'll walk in a zigzag shape, which is useful for um, mining at a particular level. So if you're at a level that has a lot of the stuff that you're looking for, um, he'll help you with that. So let's look at the code. Uh, first of all, I have on chat command home, teleport to 000, that is for me. Uh, the player, so that if I get lost, I can teleport myself to where I want to be. On chat command come, I have the agent teleport to the player. And then here's on chat command mine down. Um, you can change how many times this repeats, but basically what he's doing is he's going to destroy forward, and then he's going to move forward. And then he's going to destroy forward again. He doesn't have to do that. Um, the reason he does do that is so that I can actually go down the staircase as well. Uh, so it makes each of the stairs too tall instead of just one tall because he can fit in smaller areas than I do. Um, and then we have agent destroy down and then agent move down. This is a big detail right here, this agent move down because gravity does not affect him. So he can destroy the block underneath him and stay floating in the air. So it's important that you also move him down as well. And then this final step is important. It's the agent collect all. So far, I've had good luck that he collects everything from this little stri strip of code in that collect all. He doesn't miss anything. So I have him repeating that four times and then I can just repeat that command several times. You can change this to whatever you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what running that command looks like. Hit play. Play. Okay, there we go. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit T and then type mine down. And he's just mining away down there, creating a staircase, okay? And then I'm going to go back up and call him to me because I want to show you what the mine zigzag looks like um, where you can actually see him doing it rather than underground, so. Let me type T and type come so that he's right next to me. There we go. And then I'm going to go up into the air so that I can watch what he does with this. Um, I'll make him do it once and then I'll show you what he's doing. So mine zigzag. So at the end of each column, he turns twice in the same direction, either left or right. And then he goes forward for a set number of steps and does the same thing over again. Now, if I were really good at each of these stages, he's mining just in front of him, not also underneath him, which means that I can't fit where he's mining. Um, that's something you can fix by having him mine down every time he mines forward. Um, and that way you can actually get in where he is. And I'll probably actually go ahead and fix that um, in my code here in a moment. So let's look at my code. There's a lot of repeating here. Okay, so we're going to discuss each individual set and then discuss the bigger thing. Okay, 
So repeat two times. This is the bit where he turns, okay? So he turns left, he destroys in front of him, he moves forward, he collects the stuff, and then he does it again um, because that he's making a U-turn. So he has to do that twice. Um, then this is the part where he's doing the straight line. Um, he's already moved forward once at the end of that last left turn. It was easier to do that than to put it into a, than to not put it into a loop. Um, here he will go forward four times by destroying and then moving forward and then collecting all. This is this part where I want to actually destroy underneath him too so that I can see what's going on. So I am going to add in a agent destroy down after that agent destroy forward. I'm going to do that just by duplicating this one. And he'll be therefore digging two layers at once right now. Um, actually, I need to do that everywhere I have a destroy. So up here as well in my turns. Um, and so then he does the same U-turn, only he does it in the right direction. Otherwise, he'd just be going in a circle, which is not what you want, because you'd just be mining the same place over again. And then I need to get this destroy down into these two places. Duplicate. My computer's being a little bit slow because running Minecraft while also filming is a little bit much for it. Okay, destroy forward, destroy down. Okay, so this makes him turn right, so he goes back in the opposite direction. And then this is his going forward again. Um, if I were really good, I'd go ahead and pull these out to a destroy forward function and then repeat the destroy forward function four times um, so that I'm not so repetitive. And I may eventually do that and clean it up and I'll show it to you then. But I wanted to get this done now, okay? So now he is destroying forward and down at the same time and then moving forward and then collecting all. So let's go ahead and see what happens on our surface now. We should, again, this time, see him destroying down as well. Let me make it day if I can figure out how to do that. I'll do always day. There. Okay. Um, I lost my agent. There he is. So now we're going to run the command um, mine zigzag. So you can see the path he's taking here. He's not, clearly he's not destroying in front of him because this is meant to be in a two layer underground area. And we'll go run that again one more time so that you can see what that looks like. But it's kind of easier to see the path he's taking now. Um, he's going five in each direction. And then he does that, I believe, four times. Um, but that does mean he does a, a five by eight area because the four times that he does it, um, each of those is a full zigzag loop, which means that it's too wide. And then the four he goes straight, you get the plus one so that he actually goes straight five times because of the actual zigzag um, part of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and have my agent mine down. Oh, I did that as command, not as text. He's going into the ground. If I were really cool, I'd have him place a torch at the end of this so that it was all visible for me. 
when I did this, but I'm not that cool right now. Maybe you can be. Um, but I'd have to give him torches too. Okay, so there's my agent. And now I'm going to have him do my zigzag routine. So T mine zig zag. And enter. And I'll walk down and see what I can see from here. He should be coming back. And he's got me a nice little area that I can walk around in. He's picking up all of that stuff, which is a lot of granite. But I can see like there's a coal vein here. Or cobblestone, I, I bet that probably is. So now I can walk over here. I can say... Um, my text command of come. He's right next to me. Uh, if I want him to face in that direction, I could go ahead and do a turn command. Instead, I'm going to be a little bit lazy and actually walk all the way over here to this corner and say come again. Oops. Text come. And then I will say, mind, mind zigzag. And he should get me that coal. Oh, he's going in the wrong direction. So there is some amount of trying to get him in the right direction to make all of this stuff work. Um, that is something you could try to add to your code, but it's hard to get him to face in a particular direction. Um, and I'm a bit lazier than that. I'd just rather have him set to mining various areas multiple times. The only thing I have to point out is that you don't want him to mine, zig mine uh, zigzag right on top of where he did last because you'll get yourself without any steps. Um, and that would be annoying. So it looks like he's done mining. So I'm going to have him come. And then I'm going to right click on him. And I'm going to see what's in his inventory. Um, probably to be more effective, he should go down a few more layers. Um, so that he can get to some of the really good layers. Also, at this point, I can just mine the coal. But that's easier for me because I'm in creative right now. Um, so it's not such a big deal. Also, I'm not getting the coal since I'm in creative. It's not dropping it for me. Um, but that is something to keep in mind. Uh, having him turn, being able to have him face in a particular direction. It might be worthwhile to have a couple of chat commands that are right and left so that he'll make a right turn and a left turn so that you can actually point him in the direction you want to point him. Um, so those are my two codes. I will try and get a screenshot of each of them and also put them in the same class assignment so you don't have to sit here with a frozen video. Um, but I will try and upload the video first so that you actually have it. So there you go. If you have any other things you're struggling with, um, that mind zigzag program that he's doing would also be a great basis for a farm program. Um, get rid of the destroy down and replace the destroy with, um, what is it? Let me look. With. I can't remember the name for hoeing, for till, and then plant a seed. But again, you do have to collect the seeds for him to plant. Um, so it's not quite as effective as gardening. You, you collect the seeds. Let me close this. And then you can give them to him by right clicking on him and you can transfer inventory between the two of you. So I can take his inventory and then I can give him my inventory in return like that. 
Okay, that's it.